Today we're going to take a look at using Dictation to add Siri-like features to your Mac. Welcome everyone, this is Andrew from iDownloadBlog. We're going to look at using the accessibility options built into your Mac to add Siri-like features, like taking a screenshot simply with your voice. To start, you're going to need to open your system preferences, either using Spotlight or from within your application folder. Once you have the system preferences open, you can go down to accessibility located in the bottom right hand corner. Now we're going to scroll down the list of options on the left to dictation, which will be all the way at the bottom. To enable basic functionality, we simply want to check the box that says enable the dictation keyword phrase. You can then choose a phrase that will activate the voice control, like computer or hey Siri. If you click on the Dictation Commands button, you can see all the Dictation commands that are available to you. Now these are just the default ones that come baked into the system. Since this is normally for accessibility, a lot has to do with navigation and editing, though there are more useful ones like opening and closing an application or a new tab in Safari. But you can also create your own. Just hit that plus button in that bottom left hand corner, and now you can add a phrase so when I say screenshot this, I want my computer to take a screenshot. So to do that, I would put in the phrase, I would put in any application, and then a special keyboard shortcut. In the case of a screenshot, that would be Command Shift 3. Once you choose the keyboard shortcut from the list, you simply hit that command and it will be entered into the box. A few other options may be to paste your email or address when you say computer paste email or computer paste address, opening a specific folder that you access all the time, like saying computer open home folder, or more advanced, running an automator app that performs a series of actions. Now on the top right hand corner of my screen, in my menu bar, I now have a microphone. Now I can also opt to listen without requiring that keyword phrase, though I do have one set up right now. So if I say computer screenshot this, you'll see a little notification appear right below it, and a screenshot appear on my desktop. You can say computer open messages, and it'll open the messages app, or computer close messages, and it'll close it. I can close my system preferences, I can switch applications, or even create new tabs inside of Safari. Now while there are plenty of built-in options, this does take a bit of configuration to have this set up exactly how you'd like. Regardless, hopefully this is just a stopgap solution until Apple brings full Siri support to the Mac, possibly later in 2016 with OS X 12. So what do you think of Siri support on the Mac? Is that something that you are waiting for? Let us know in the comments below. Please subscribe. Otherwise, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.